All units, all units. Robbery in progress. Manhattan Savings alone, 36th and Broadway. Suspects armed and dangerous. Authorities say Ramon Abbas, also known as Hush Puppy, perfected a simple internet scam and laundered millions of dollars. His past says a lot about digital swagger and the kinds of stories that got told online. For Ramon Abbas, the Instagram influencer popularly known as Ray Hashpapi, going by the handle Hashpapi, also known as Hash, or the billionaire Gucci master, birthdays were always a time of reflection. It was always about reflection and extravagance. But then, extravagance was Hashpapi's brand, a 365 days a year affair, a way of being. On October 11th, 2019, the day he turned 37, Hashpapi was living in a penthouse apartment at the Palazzo Versace, Dubai, with a private pool and hot tub on his lanai. Typical Hashpapi post on Instagram, where he had more than 2 million followers, featured a bus smiling in front of one of his Ferraris or Rolls Royces, kicking back in his seat on a private jet, or exiting a designer store with a parcel of rope handheld bags. The hashtags Hamis, Fendi, Louis Vuitton. His look was always flawless, never the same outfit twice. Gucci hashtag more often than not. You don't become the billionaire Gucci master any other way. Even back in 2019, there were questions about how much money Abbas really had and how exactly he'd acquired it. In Nigeria, where Hashpapi was born, his Instagram presence had turned him into a celebrity adjacent to the biggest names in pop culture. He had appeared on social media with pop idols Davido and Wizkid and soccer players on English clubs like Chelsea and Man City. But Abbas' wealth was the constant subject of rumors. In the flourishing ecosystem of Nigerian gossip blogs, he was a Nigerian big boy, a shorthand for online fraudster or a Yahoo boy who struck it rich and showed it off. Abbas dismissed the talk as the jealousy of so many haters, disappointed with their own lives and determined to bring down a self-made man who'd left them all behind. I want you guys to know a few years ago, um, maybe 10 or so, no over 10, a little bit over 10. Um, I was so ambitious, I wanted to get out of Nigeria so badly. I tried doing everything I could, I applied for a France visa back then. You know, we had some not so good documentations and all that when I applied. We were like, no, we don't think if you go to our country, you come back. You don't have enough money to go and all those kind of stuff. But I didn't let that stop me. And today, I'm in France, 
courtesy of the biggest, the biggest company out of France, LVMH. So now LVMH group is inviting me through two different um, sub companies under them, through Louis Vuitton and Christian Dior. Actually, I have another different invitation from Christian Dior and separately i have another different invitation from uh bauman you know or bauman as we call it where i'm from so if these three big companies can be writing to the embassy today on my behalf that oh we want our people to come um we need him in our fashion show um we are going to sponsor his trip, we are going to pay for his hotels, we are going to pay for his flights and everything, you know, even though um, I upgraded myself and got myself a private jet to come, it's, it's, it's one of my dreams, you know. The only reason I could achieve this today is because I didn't let all the controversies, all the noise, all the people who try and bring me down make all make up all sort of stories about me call me names and all that you know today i woke up and i'm like wow this is really happening you know whatever the truth on his 37th birthday before heading off to a party in his honor in the vip lounge at the dubai barberry store a buzz post to acknowledge the fans who supported him on his journey from hustling kid to a global influencer. He wrote, As I turn a year older in my 30s today, I want to celebrate all of you out there. The caption accompanied a photo of a bus in a designer blue tracksuit, standing in front of a giant sculpture of a Rolls Royce hood ornament. Those of you who mostly I have never met, spoken to or anything but have been a strong supporter of me through every situation until this point and still riding for me i want you to know wherever you are that i celebrate and appreciate you today today is our day several celebrity blogs printed his appreciation in full the next day tammy abraham the english striker who recently made his debut for chelsea posted a photo of ash puppy and captioned Happy birthday to my big bro for yesterday. Hearts, prayers. Around the same time, Abbas was giving a guided tour to his home to a popular Nigerian personality named Daddy Freeze. In an interview, Freeze had said, what I was trying to achieve with that interview was something close to MTV Cribs. With Freeze filming, they wandered through the penthouse as Abbas showed off his clothes and sneaker collections and went down to the garage to visit the Rolls and the Ferraris. I have four jacuzzis in this house, a sauna, my private pool, Abbas told the viewers back home. The apartment, he said, cost hundreds of thousands of dollars for a year. When the pair sat down for dinner, they talked at length about online haters, religion, and family. Money came up only when Abbas asserted that he often made charitable contributions that never appeared on his feed. My heart is pure. I do a lot of good that even a lot of social media don't have to know about, he said. I sleep good at night. When something good happens to me, I know it's because I did something good, not because somebody promised me money that I did not work for or money that I don't deserve. What does it mean to deserve such fortunes as hush puppies? What type of work is commensurate with the riches of private jets and $5,000 handbags? The billionaire Gucci master had his answers to these questions, but so too did the FBI. Answers that will form the basis of United States of America versus Ramon Oluruno Abbas, the criminal case filed against him in a California federal court.